Bo, B O Polney, P O L N Y, Bo Polney. He's all over YouTube. I'm having trouble following him. He's all excited about dates and stuff like that, lining up. And, you know, that's like these numerologists, whenever they talk like Tom numbers, I'm just looking at it going, what? 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 I mean, it's just like, you know, any number could be the number you want it to be. You just add enough numbers to it, you know. Well, if it was two, then you'd have, and you had three twos, that'd be three, and then three is the number for, you know, it's like, what? In other words, you can make the numbers, and you can say anything you want, but whatever. I don't, I can't understand what he's trying to say. Is he trying to say that the return of Jesus is coming now, and he's giving dates and stuff, which you know that's going to be a disaster. Uh, uh, I don't know what he's saying. I listened for like an hour and couldn't figure out what he was saying. I think he's, I think, uh, I think he's trying to say that, uh, I don't know what he's trying, maybe, it seems like he's trying to say that we're, Jesus is coming back and it's going to be like September or something, but I don't know. Listen to it, see if you can follow it. It's over my head. Uh, he said we're at a Red Sea moment. Okay, well, okay. I know the metaphor. I get it. Let's see, one metaphor was uh, let my people go. So they, you leave, you leave, you leave Israel, which is the law and bondage and shit. You get born again, and then once you get born again, you're like going into the wilderness. And then you have to learn all that, trials and errors, storms, etc., and so on. And then you finally get through that, and you come to the River Jordan, and then you cross that, and which is like the return of Jesus, and then you go into uh, paradise. Uh, that's that's one metaphor. The metaphor he's saying that now that we're in a. Uh, Red Sea moment is we Israel those who believe are Israel by the way it's not a geographic location if you believe then you are Israel anyway uh, we we're leaving all the crap behind and it looks like it's going to go to all the hell and everybody's scared and the economy's falling blah, 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 blah. And, and then the Red Sea opens and so we all go into that and what happens there is the bad guys fall because they get, you know, buried under the water. And then going into the wilderness in this case is we are going into a time we are set free from the bad guys and we're going to have heaven on earth is the way I see it. For if you follow the Jewish calendar, it says we have, I think, 217 years to go because man was given 6,000 years. So we got 217 left. The last seven uh, is the time, you know, for the Antichrist before. So the way I learned is Jesus comes comes back, takes the believers, and then seven years starts. Three and a half years into that seven, the Antichrist comes, the two witnesses, all that stuff. And then there's three and a half years of hell where you don't take the mark of the beast. And then Jesus comes back with us, and they tie up the devil in chains, and then we have a thousand years of peace. A lot of people are saying that the thousand years of peace is what's coming right now. I don't think so. I think we are in the kingdom age. Cat curse is the same thing. We are in the kingdom age. It started 2012, she said. Uh, <clears throat> we are in the age that we take over the planet. This is the I shall pour out my spirit upon all men time. Uh, I believe this is the on earth as it is in heaven time. I believe we're going to have heaven on earth. <clears throat> and you're, if you're breathing, you're, it looks like you might have made it. Uh, and uh, and so our 40 years in the wilderness this time will be 200 years, uh, 210 years if you go by the Jewish calendar, 210 years of ruling and reigning, and then Jesus will come back then, and he'll he, he won't be saving us out of peril. He'll be saying, "Great job! You took over Earth. You kicked the 
yells ass, you win, let's go. And then the seven years starts. We take off with him and seven years starts. That's what I think is happening now. I think we are uh, going into the on earth as it is in heaven. And if we could just try not to fear. Koopy, what are you doing? Keep, keep. Try not to have fear because it's holding us back. And I am, boy, am I guilty. Am I guilty? I wake up in the morning, just fear rush, just rushes over me. And I'm like, uh, you know, and it takes me most of the day before I halfway can chase it away. <clears throat> I mean, God's come through time after time after time after time after time. And, you know, wh why wouldn't you think he's going to come through again? Okay, what are they all running for? What you looking for, boys? It's coyote, prime coyote time. Anyway, that's what I think is happening right now, and you're here, and the bull pony was talking about Jubilee, where your debts get paid, and you get the money, and we're going to get all the money, and <clears throat> and the truth community is talking about extraterrestrial technologies are already being manufactured on the moon and on Mars. Medbed technologies, which will heal us of anything and everything and make us young again. And then <clears throat> the Earth people will put together the Nasara, will, where all our debts will be paid and we'll have plenty of money. And money will no longer be an object. And if you need money to do something for humanity, it will be given to you. No, And you don't have to pay it back. And... Uh, <clears throat> and all you do then from then on is just do what you were put on this planet to do, which is be the best you you can possibly be, which is what they say in Star Trek. Just be the best you you can be. That's all you got to do on a regular basis. And if you need money to do it or to help others, it's available. And then if you need a Jaguar, you go to your replicator and you punch in Jaguar and you get one. <clears throat> but nobody's going to want a Jaguar. Why would you? Everybody else can have a Jaguar. Why would you want a Jaguar? Especially since they break down and shit. Oh boy, I got a person over there. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Uh. Uh. All right, well, let's see what they do. <coughs> Holly, come on. All right. Come on, Oliver. Chloe. Go say hi. You go say hi. Oliver's saying hi to you. Come on, Holly.